Okay, it's time to do something a little bit different, and that is some Lego. Now, I think I've reviewed Lego on this channel once or twice before, but I got an interesting item uh, a few days ago, and I thought, hey, let's take a look at it. But then I thought, wait, why not exploit it and turn it into a video and hope that I get lots of clicks, because I've got Avengers Infinity War in the title. And talking to that, as we can see here, this is indeed an Avengers Infinity War themed item with a little Thanos there. There's a little gauntlet of uh, some power. Um, so yeah, so specifically, I went to the midnight showing of Avengers Infinity War on Wednesday night, or Thursday morning technically. And as I was queuing up, they were handing out free poly bags of the Guardians ship. Now, I thought it was called the Monado. I'm pretty sure that's what this ship is called. Unless that changed between the first film and the second film and this, I'm not too sure. Anyway, as you can see, this is indeed set number 30525. Six to twelve years. I am, like, double that, but whatever. So, yeah, it's a small build, as you can see here. There's not too many parts, but I thought, hey, let's crack it open, build it on camera, and then um, I'll talk about Infinity War a bit, maybe, because... You know, I'll let you guys know my thoughts. So here's going to be like a montage of me speed building it. Uh, as in, the montage will be speed building. I'm not going to build it at a lot of speed. So, um, enjoy some music. There's probably going to be from Tekken 3. Okay, so I'm back, uh, as you've just witnessed in that incredible uh, time-lapse video. I have completely uh, built the Guardian's ship. Again, not sure. Maybe it's not the Monado. It does look a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, got to say, this is actually a pretty darn good-looking little thing. Cockpit uh, is, is a bit weird. It threw me off because it's on a bit of a joint, but... It, you can't actually move it, it's kind of just like that. The cockpit as well is, I was expecting it to be um, translucent blue, kind of like that, which would have looked better, I think, but you know, it's fine. Um, 
yeah, overall pretty darn good. That throws me off a bit. I think that's part of the actual design. It's meant to be just one side. I feel like there should be one the other side and there is actually a spare part in the back there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it uh, as they mentioned to say. The back does indeed come off, which is the um, escape pod, I guess, or whatever. This is actually like advertised uh, as a feature on the bag that you can pull it off and it goes on quite snugly there. Uh, the wings are also on ball joint things, which I really like. Uh, you know, obviously they are a little bit stiff, but you can actually move them, kind of like an X-Wing, really, from Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, overall, for something that I got free for going to see a movie that I was going to see regardless, very nice. I may try and, like, display it or something, because at the moment it kind of looks a bit weird laying it like that, but if I can get some clear bricks or something to keep it up, then... Uh, Jobs are good. So, Infinity War, what did I think of it? Fucking ace. Like, absolutely. If you're into the Marvel movies, well, if you're into the Marvel movies, you've probably seen it by now. You're seeing it this weekend. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. All, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything because I'm not going to make this an in-depth review or anything. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was the ultimate payoff. Really, absolutely. Ten years... You know, there's been a lot of movies, 18 movies, I think it was, that I heard somewhere. And, whoa, like, what what a payoff. All of the characters you'd expect to see are there. There are one or two little kind of secondary characters that may not appear very much, or not at all. You know, but overall, man, standout movie. Like, really good. I mean, I enjoyed Civil War, but that felt... A kind of bit like a little bit of a scuffle not a war this feels like the well this feels like the proper beginning to the start of a war i will say a lot of the movie uh does is kind of spent building up a little bit there are lots of fights throughout but it's definitely it definitely feels like a part one um but that's no bad thing either because gives time to all the characters you you know want to see interact it gives them reasons and stuff, and I've got to say, Thanos, hands down, one of my favourite villains um, in the Marvel Universe, quite easily. I went in not expecting to care about him much, you know, I expected him to be a really one-dimensional, or oh, I just want to destroy you guys kind of person, but I was pleasantly surprised, um, and I can't, I can't really say much, honestly, because it'll start going spoilery, and... You know, maybe I'll do an in-depth review or something. Maybe I'll get some friends in on it. Um, but that ending, the, the ending, I wasn't ready. A lot of people weren't ready. It is a very dramatic film and a lot of stuff happens. I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll put up some videos soon, maybe. Goodbye.